Welcome to a virtual tour of our standing CT scanner, the Equina. I'm Sophie and I'll be your virtual tour guide today as we take you through our standing CT scan of an equine patient. After an initial workup, our patient is given a lameness evaluation to identify the location of concern. In this case, there is a specific interest in evaluating the left hock in a standing weight-bearing position using computed tomography, or CT. <laughs> Following the lameness evaluation, the patient is given 10 milligrams of acepromazine intermuscular in preparation for the CT scan. The ACE injection is given to relax the patient before administering an alpha-2 agonist. At this point, it's off to the stalls to chill out for a bit in preparation for sedation. The chill out time is typically 15 minutes or so. Just prior to the scan, the patient is given 5 milligrams of detominine intermuscular to sedate and is then walked to the standing CT room, which is just down the hallway. It is now 10 a.m. Once in the CT room, the patient is positioned for scanning. You will see that the patient is backed up, walking over the scanner, which is parked below the floor and stands with its rear limb pair over a 75 centimetre target ring. Because the field of view is the entire 75 centimetre bore opening, the limbs can be located anywhere within the target ring for maximum patient comfort. For this exam, a set of blocks is placed under the front limbs to lift the patient's chest and to ensure the CT gantry reaches well above the hocks. Final preparation for the CT scan includes some cotton in the ears and blinkers to keep the patient from looking downward. We are now ready for the standing CT scan. In the room, we have a rad tech who will operate the scanner and a single handler holding the patient lead rope. Using a handheld push button controller, the operator raises the CT gantry in preparation for the scan. In this case, the CT gantry will be raised until collision sensors detect that the gantry is about a centimetre below the lowest point of the patient and the CT gantry will stop. Once in position, the operator initiates the scan. The CT gantry then scans distally, taking approximately 30 seconds to complete. 
you will see a one second pause when the scan is finished and the CT gantry return to home position below the ground. The processed images are ready to view immediately following the scan. Here you see the radiologist and the surgeon reviewing the high quality and highly detailed CT images from the ASTO CT scanner in order to best examine subtle bone and soft tissue injuries. If the scan is satisfactory, the DICOM files will be sent to the hospital packs for subsequent review and reporting. But I think that the motion of this. There's motion of this. It's now 10 20 a.m., just 20 minutes after the patient was brought to the CT room. At this point, it's back to the stalls. Here you see an MPR showing direct comparison of the left and right distal tarsus, one of the key advantages of scanning a limb pair, which nicely indicate osteoarthritis on the left side. I hope you have enjoyed this real life demonstration of safe, simple, standing CT, a new standard of care in equine imaging from ASTO CT.